I don't understand you detectives. I told you everything I know down at the station. Just like to ask a few questions after every interview. Go over some things, make sure we didn't miss any details. If you must. Right. So you said you were at the symphony the night that Jessica Stonewall was murdered. Tchaikovsky. I was with my assistant. I told you this days ago. Yeah, what you failed to tell us is that you left at intermission, and then you were 30 minutes late getting back to your seat. I drank too much. Got sick, vomited in the bathroom. I'm sure you could confirm that with the LADWP. I flushed after vomiting. Cute. Roy, how long did the usher say intermission was that night? 15 minutes. 15 minutes of intermission, 30 minutes late getting back to your seat. It's 45 minutes. Very good, detective. Are you all math whizzes over at the precinct, or, or are you the exception? Well, my partner's trying to tell you is that 45 minutes is a long time. Gives you enough time to drive down to Jessica's downtown loft. Gives you enough time to strangle her. Gives you enough time to get back to your seat before a final curtain. Well, it's an interesting theory, detective. What you failed to keep into consideration is the type of person that Jessica was. What type of person was that? <laughs> Jessica was a manipulative bitch that cared more about her career than the lives she destroyed trying to get what she wanted. She hoard herself around the office, sleeping with anybody who she thought could open a door of opportunity for her. I saw her for what she was, though. We all did. We saw right through her facade. But what we didn't see coming were the sexual harassment charges that she was bringing against the firm. I mean, only a whore sluts herself around and then plays the victim card? <laughs> Detectives, I have no remorse for a person like Jessica. But I assure you, I had nothing to do with her death. 